Alrighty. I'm hoping you guys can hear me. Truly, I am. Hello, everyone. I um, found this game recently. It's very nice. Really cool. Heard a lot about it. I thought it would be nice to and give it a shot. I mean, honestly, I haven't heard a lot about it. I don't know why I'm lying to you. Uh, the point is, this is a cool game called Crown of Leaves, and uh, I found it on Steam, just so happened to download it. I've already played through one playthrough, so I do know some like things that go on here, but there are apparently a lot of things you can do in this game for it to be so short in just one chapter, so I thought I'd play through again, record myself playing it, and uh, uh, you know, give my thoughts at the end. Uh, so yeah, let's get start there oh, what's this oh these are the later chapters that's cool all right yes new game I should probably preface that I'm not very good at point-and-click adventure games I've never done these before I'm not got it so I apologize if it takes me a while to get by things so yeah let's see how this goes Decisions and dialogue choices will affect the plot of the game and the following chapters. Understood. So, uh, hello. My name is Rui. I was born in Latterie. I'm sure you're already familiar with this land of superstitious gypsies where every second is a winemaker, a farmer, or a lousy magician. But I've always wanted something more. After finishing school, I moved to another country to enroll at their Institute of Arts. I wanted to become a jeweler, but after studying for only a brief time, I got really bored. The new life that opened up for me outside the Institute was much better and full of intriguing prospects. I was so carried away by the country's world of mysticism and ciphers that, oh, I simply couldn't think of anything else. I lost myself in spending weeks at the library, deciphering various historical riddles just for my pleasure. <laughs> Soon after, I quit the Institute. I made new friends, and I found a job. I was writing for the Paranormal Patrol newspaper and looking for material for my articles. During these ten years, I became a recognized writer. However, I, I came into contact with the local mafia without realizing who it was I was dealing with. I had to give up everything and go back to my homeland and become a nobody again. I picked up my old jeweler's tools once more and I started my life anew. I was fortunate to find myself a high-paying customer soon after, the Black Baron. His sister, by the way, is running our country, and the bracelet that I was going to make the Baron was for his bride. He gave me an extremely expensive and difficult material to work with. Oh, if only I had known the troubles that were already waiting for me here. Busy. I like Serban. Is that you, Serban? What's up? Sorry, I have a runny nose. Ignore that, please. Can I stay in here? They're so noisy. I'm tired of listening to their silly chatter. They're like two jackdaws, screaming and repeating the same thing every day. And they smoke a lot. Chair left. Of course, come in, but don't get your hopes up. The cackling is too loud and the walls are far too thin to spare our ears. I've been thinking about moving my workspace into the woods, at least until the summer's over. What do you think? Fresh air, the sun, birds singing. I see, someone's in a bad mood today. Come on, help me with this bracelet. See, I made a blink. Looks a bit... Well, I don't want to be rude, but boring. <laughs> no, you're right, actually. It's far from ideal, really, but I've only just begun. May I be honest with you? I'm afraid that the Black Baron won't like these results. That's why this work is suspended for now. I want to impress him more than you know. Imagine. I'll give him the bracelet, he'll look it over, and then he'll squeal like a girl and scream, God! This is After that, he'll drown me in money. Would he squeal? 
If only you could have seen him. He's an enthusiastic and kind man, and quite rich. And he will make you the coolest jeweler in Latori. Lottery, I'm sorry. No, perhaps you'll become his personal jeweler, or even a younger baron. It would be so cool, and he might give you your own personal workshop, huh? No, well, actually, I don't want to be a jeweler. I have other plans. Really? Well, no. Well, could you ask for a workshop at least? Give it to me if you don't need it. You're asking too much, kid. It's too soon to talk about this. Also, why is this order so expensive? You're making a bracelet out of ordinary wood. It's not even gold or silver. You know, uh, you know that wood the Black Baron gave me is quite rare. This here is Mary Oak. Or Mare Oak. Uh, the tree it originates from is found hardly anywhere due to high demand. Such wood is used extensively in rituals and it is sought after by mystics and other ne'er-do-wells. Do you know what kind of ritual the Baron is going to perform? Swuckle and sacrifice? <laughs> His wedding peanut. And he's going to give his bride a bracelet uh, hewn from Merry Oak to ensure everything goes off without a hitch. I'm so stupid. Killing rare trees for some barren, stupid wedding. <laughs> Can't argue with it there. But a job is a job. If you want a workshop so bad, why don't you train a little? You can't become a master without making an effort. I know. But... How would I possibly be able to start? Here, take this knife. Sharpen the edge on it. May I cut something? May I cut something on the bracelet? No! Uh, you'd, you'd better check the box. I believe there's some old sticks and spruce of ash in there. Use them for practice. Really? Can I? Knock yourself out, kid. What? Shane, oh come on! Ladies, would you please keep your voices down? I'm trying to work here. Useless. They don't even hear you. Those two women are insufferable. I could ask them to get going and do something, but I doubt they'd even bother. <laughs> and here we are. I apologize for my terrible voice acting. Or, it wasn't even voice acting. I apologize for my stuttering and reading. Anyway, this is the game. Yeah, you click the middle mouse wheel button, and as it said before, it reveals all these hotspots, all these things you can hover over and interact with. And I find that really cool. I know we can get this. <laughs> Serpent's old toy. It's been lying here forever and it's covered in dust. His name is Glashton, another mythical figure from some wild local legend. Plushy horse. <laughs> this is Richard and he wants to eat. Or drink to be precise. I look after him. Guy's got a the ukulele, a gift from Lazlo. Can't even play two chords on it, but that's not what this thing was gifted for. If you can't play, it was yeah, it's probably just sentiment. <laughs> Antiquity's third album. Critics said that it's not quite up to her usual level. Nah, they're just idiots. I have a huge record collection. It's a pity there's no gramophone here. I hate working without some good music. I hear that. I need music to do my stuff too. <laughs> my mom used my money to buy this lamp for me as a gift. It has a pink light. How cute. <laughs> Seems he doesn't like it. <laughs> I drew this when I was 15. Actually, I hate looking at my old drawings, but I still love this one. Looks gloomy. <laughs> that smile. Uh, the art. The art here is so fantastic. I, I follow the artists on Twitter and uh, the other artists on DeviantArt. You can look them up. You know, If you look up the game, you'll find the artists. They are fantastic. It is amazing. I just love this art style. It's detailed and it just has... Ah, it's so beautiful. It's Mermie and Lazla. I wish things had turned out differently between you and I. Aww. Again, I apologize for my runny nose. This is an amulet. That said, I'm not superstitious, but I believe it when Brilla will cut my head off. It's a pity that there is no amulet to keep that woman away from me. Oh, Brilla. <laughs> Bought it at the fair last week. I wonder what that is. Probably just some paintings. <laughs> Hang on. 
Alright. Chisels, knives, burns, my dear friends. You'll help me become extremely rich. I bet they will, I bet they will. Such a beautiful frame. It would be perfect for a picture of a girlfriend. If I had one. <laughs> wow, it's a kettle. Forgotten about it. Why well, haven't I used it? Ew, mold, it's everywhere. There we go, that might be why. Yes, I know that some great Norian uh, singletary created a medicine from a mold, I guess. This is all very great and scientific, but the teapot is, is much more interesting to me than a mold. However, I don't need it looking like this. Let's see if you said anything different. <laughs> The Mario card has the price on the front side and a small reference on its back. The jewel crafting for Shang La Handyman magazine once planned to make several such collectible cards of different materials. Mario goes the beginning, and Mario goes the end. Such a shame. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> this is the ultimate jeweler's guide. There's a note on the inside cover to my, to my beloved brother, Carium. Just making sure. <laughs> Uni the 20th. Deadline is close, but I have enough time to finish the commission. The Black Baron gave me that. I don't know if it was him who drew it, but Swacklin. Ah, uh, names. Swacklin muzzles look pretty neat. If you believe the traditional images of them, of course. This is a powerful artifact depriving me of sleep, appetite, and the will to live. Will I ever truly finish this commission? Why not? Why not? I officially declare that Marioke is the most despicable material in the world. Sometimes the blade goes on goes on the tree softly like through like through butter and sometimes it's so hard like it's, it's like you're trying to cut a stone damn that scratch hope i can hide it oof i'll get back to the bracelet later we need to have rest from each other <laughs> you tried my friend that's that's the important part Say, how's your eye doing? What about it? Don't answer a question with a question. I want to know if you're getting better or not. I'm not sick. When will you take off that eye patch? Why should I do that? <laughs> uh, I forgot that you just got back and haven't heard about this. I was walking through the woods and tripped on the ground. There was a sharp rock or maybe a twig. I lost my eye and it would be better to leave this patch over it. I know a good artisan in the city who makes glass prosthetics. He could help. I can introduce you to him. Cool! But, no. I don't want it. Are you scared? Just thinking about the girls. They won't like it. It'll be staring at the, uh, it will be staring at the same point all the time. My eye patch looks pretty cool. Alright. But if you change your mind, just remember that I can take you downtown anytime. Thank you. Yeah. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. It's something, something happened. Something happened that we don't know about. Just tripping and falling and you lose an eye. Nah, partner. I think not. He's good though. He got a good sense of humor about it though. <laughs> hey kid, what do you plan to do after school? You know, I'd like to be a jeweler. Like you or my dad. But I wouldn't make jewelry for girls. Only for guys. And not wooden ones, but metal. So you can stick it up your nose, lips, or tongue. <laughs> Arr. Wow. But honestly, do you really want a piece of iron on your tongue? It hurts. I'm not afraid of pain. Yes, you have a great future, my friend. 
I think big, kid. <laughs> Why jewelry? Am I your role model or something? Uh-huh, yes. Well, no. One day, we went to the market and I saw a master jeweler there. He was making some strange things for the nose and the tongue. It was really cool. He saw me watching and asked if I wanted to become his apprentice. And your mother doesn't mind? She hates my guts. I can't imagine she'd be happy to see another jeweler in her house. Mom doesn't know anything about my plans. <laughs> That's good. Don't tell her. Yeah, when moms don't like stuff, they are adamant about making sure you do not do it. <laughs> How's your brother, huh? Not bad, I guess. He's enjoying a life of almost noth of doing almost nothing, and he never has time for me. <laughs> Talk about glass gen. It's a gift from Auntie Emerald. You don't have to tell me that. I was near that card table when she got in when she got it into her head to win this toy. It was an epic tournament, right? <laughs> nah. Took her rivals down in two seconds. Wow. And why didn't she win something really cool? A golden sword or a new Vardo? No one wants to risk such values, my friend. No one except her. And that's all. <laughs> One second. Alrighty. Sorai constellations are so cool! I hope no one heard me. What's the point of screaming if you don't want people to hear you? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. They were giving us such things in the university. It's a list of tree species used in Norian jewelry. Usually they have pretty idiotic names. That's everything, buddy. When it comes to plants or botany or just anything in nature, they always gotta give them the most ridiculous and crazy name. <laughs> Forget about R and never again. Too expensive. What was that? Two cups of one, pepper, shuffle, and pour it into the PCK. P.S. Don't? What did I mean by that? Pour it in your pocket? I don't think so. He responded in a letter that I don't need to fry kilts? What's the point of writing these notes if I can't even read them? Yeah, that happens. You're so busy writing stuff so quickly that you just forget. Like, when you go back and read it, you're like, what the hell was I thinking when I wrote this stuff down? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I can't take it anymore. If this continues, I will start to cut quotes from the chatter between Aunt Mama and the bracelet. I need to talk to them. We will. Oh, you will. I'm just exploring stuff. Plushy horse. The Glastion toy. As far as I know, this cutie was presented to Serpent by my mother. Surely she won it in a card game. The toy is made of shreds. Looks shabby and stonewashed, but Serpent loves it very much and keeps it in a prominent place. Of course, the boy's grown up already and pretends he doesn't need the toy anymore, but he didn't throw it away. How sweet. Mario card. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Features. Printed on the thick board. Very firm. Very firm. A trading card, which was once added to the magazine jewelry for Christmas Shang On the back side of it, you can find a brief and a general useless description of Mariok. Poor Mariok. Oh, it still has all the from my last playthrough, so that's good. Yeah, these are all the things. I, I won't spoil y'all, though. I won't go to the ones we haven't got yet. Serban. I wonder if I should read these things just for people who care. Or if I should just leave it on screen. You know what? I'm gonna read them. Serban, a gloomy and taciturn boy. Serban is Brilla's and my cousin. He's got such inscrutable eyes. I mean, I. And sometimes it's hard to comprehend what he's really thinking about. Updated. When I saw Serban, I immediately noticed the bandage on his right eye. At first, I thought that one of the boys gave him a giant black eye in some kind of fight. But months went by and the bandage remained in its place. I decided to ask my cousin what happened to his eye and was surprised by the answer. Serban told though not very confidently, that he lost the eye in the forest while falling on a sharp rock. I thought this story wasn't very believable. Yeah, me neither. The guy just does not want to admit defeat, that's all. And if I were in his place, I would also come up with some story about forests and rocks. Uh, yawning. I noticed that Serpent is all bright-eyed and 
uh, when he looks at my desktop and jewelry tools. It all became clear to me right away. The boy has a dream. I'm not only familiar with his dream, but even touch it, even though it's without much interest. Serban admitted that he would very much like to follow in the footsteps of his late father and my colleague by becoming a jewelry maker, and he's sure that his mother won't approve of such a hobby. To know that Serban is a good fellow, he seems rather smart to me. I wouldn't be surprised if he was already if he has already read all the books that he could find at home and in the local library, Vardo. Maybe maybe we will be friends someday, and I wouldn't mind having that lie in the camp of the enemy. <laughs> Glashton. When I was a child, my mother told me a story about Glashton, a boogie horse who was taking care of herds in the camp, owned by one wealthy baron. The spirit protected herds from diseases and forest predators until the camp was suddenly ambushed by the Belarian troops, our aggressive neighbors. The famine came, and there was nothing to eat at all except horses. Then Baron, do you even have a choice, led to slaughter a, uh, slaughter a part of the herd to get some Lashton didn't like it, so he waited for the night to come and led the rest of the herd to the lake then, where he dragged them under the water. The horses turned into predatory fish-tailed fish monsters who like to eat mortals' as liver. Interesting. It's made, for the, that's, this reminds me of kind of the, the Kelpie from, I forget the, I want to say Celtic, but yeah, it was like a horse that was underwater, a seahorse basically, that came to land and it lured people around to uh, to hop on its back and, you know, go for a ride because, you know, it's a, it's a seahorse who wouldn't want to do that stuff. And then its hide was like glue and so when you sat on its hide, it, you'd stick to it permanently and then the horse would lead you under the sea and drown you and then it would eat you. <laughs> So I want to say, like, maybe that's, like, a... It's kind of based off of that. Or maybe the Glashton is an actual thing in, like, uh, folklore. Like, the people here made this are Russian, so maybe Slavic folklore. I am unsure, and I apologize. <laughs> cool stuff, though. I love reading these things because it's just... It's so cool to know about the world and the lore and the history. Because <clears throat> the Lord knows, it's such a wonderful world. Give me a bit. All right, enough waiting and reading. Oh, wait, I'm saving. <laughs> like I said, I've played this before, so we're going to go to two. You're going to be right here. Mission accomplished. Love the music, love the sounds. Let's get going, people. Just look at him. Gotti is a peacock thinking he's an urban dandy coming here to flirt with gypsy girls. Don't judge him so harshly, Bree. He's always been a sweetie. Just like his uncle Romy. Or Romy's sister. I don't remember her name. That's enough, Emeril. But you spoiled him as a child. He's stupid and lazy because you didn't teach him the value of hard work. Now, and I should thank you, he lives with a family where everything is done for him. He doesn't even think to help out. <clears throat> What? Why did you stop? Have I put you in an awkward position? Me? In an awkward position? In my own house? I'll give you an awkward bend myself, idiot, if you keep speaking to me in that manner. Really, my dear, what's the matter? Yeah, so for a while. <laughs> I don't often ask you to do something for me, but today I'll make an exception. <laughs> Would you please be quiet for a while? It's difficult for me to concentrate on my work. Work? You call those stupid trinkets that you make between sleeping and eating work? Don't be like that, Bree. My Rui is a good and responsible boy. There's no need for him to be distracted by trivial matters. Mom, stop. Please do. So... I don't want to waste my time with you anymore. Are we done here? No, not yet. Just for the record, I do not enjoy owing you. I would have finished this damn bracelet with great pleasure just to get out of here and not impose on you any further. But I cannot be productive every day. Sometimes I'm simply not able to do so. Or simply don't have the inspiration. So you came in here to complain and make excuses. Or am I missing something? 
No, I, I look forward to the day when you have your money and finally move out of here. You're a pansy and you're lazy. And never get your own hands dirty and grow peppers like the others. Do you think I'm just another insolent borrower? Can't call your small orders real work. What about the Black Baron? You mean, what What about this paper-thin story you can use to justify myself? I can use just one Tell it to your mother, I'm not a naive girl. But it's true, Bree. When did you decide to be the boss? Please, tell me, where did you find- Where did you find- Arrogance, boy. You pretend to be a scholar and an intellectual, but what are you really? Uh, you didn't even finish your degree at the Institute. All you do now is take orders for earrings and bracelets. Does the fact that I'm taking orders for real money mean anything to you? If only that money was used sensibly. You still haven't paid me your last debt, and you are on your fifth and sixth loan already. I, I only borrowed twice. From me, yes, and then you dare to borrow from your mother. Oh, almost forgot. I have some unfinished work elsewhere. Mom, sorry, dear. I'll leave you two for now. Why don't you make yourself scarce as well? Yeah, sure. Bye. Yeah, what a witch. <clears throat> Where did you take my sugar? Your sugar? You have your own sugar? Ah, forget it! Fine. I already know where this conversation's going. Yeah, it's... <laughs> you can tell by the soundtrack and her appearance. A lady that's ever happy. Like, at all. She's that kind of aunt. Coffee again? Don't you think enough is enough? It's so terribly bad for the heart. But you drink it all the time. And she smokes! What? I'm an old woman and going to die soon, so it's fine. <laughs> Where did you take my sugar? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> family beads with the names of my family members on it. Brilla, the great mother. Milosh, the great father. Roscoe, the elder son. Serban, the youngest son, Emeril, the great mother's sister, Shuri, the husband of the mother's sister, Rui. <laughs> Just Rui. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> what is the averter needed for? It's not an averter. This is the medal your grandfather's dog was awarded. And why is this medal here then? What do you mean, why? It brings luck and happiness home. Please. Which means it's an averter, then. No, for sorry's sake, it's a dog medal. If you say so. <laughs> An important symbol for Brilla and her family. They used to be tailors. I don't know in which generation was born the Sahash who fell in love with vegetables more, uh, more than needle and thread. Huh. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. The sisters here are only for memories. Was that line right? Maybe I read too fast, I don't know. A bird in good health doesn't mind the smell of roasted meat, cigarette smoke, or dust. What the? I swear I saw something. Yeah, it's a mouse! Ah! Cute. Did you decide to do the dishes? No. Actually, I'm leaving. Take them with you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Aunt Brilla. Could you tell me why there are so many? Count it like ten. Why only ten? And what about the raw chicken wing I put in, I put in your pillow to protect you from toothache? That's still there. What? Why would you do that? People and their superstitions. <laughs> a snake, a symbol of the endless movement of time, easily replaced by regular watches. A big armchair for a big woman. Uh, yeah, that I see. <laughs> What charming flowers. So sweet. They fit you perfectly. Really? Uh, Arctium Lapa fits you in this case. Huh? What's that? Burdock. I'll have to look that up. I'm sure it was an insult, because heaven knows this lady cannot give a compliment to poor Rui. <laughs> I feel like I've gone over everything in this room. Everything I can, anyway. Again, I'm not good at point and click adventure, so... There's probably somebody out there who knows this game that's like, Nah, you forgot something, there's a special place somewhere. Didn't click on. I'm sorry. I don't know these games. <laughs> oh, shoot, wrong way. Let's try again. There we go. <laughs> a complete... 
completely alien place for me. It's called Hill Camp, obviously, in honor of the landscape. My family lived a few kilometers away on the other side of the lake. I don't like village life. Dirt everywhere, the smell of compost, garden beds, biting insects, outhouses. The sooner I finish the commission for the Baron, the faster I can get out of here. It's so pretty, though. I mean, I get it. I'm from the south, and it's... Uh, but it's so pretty out here. At least the music. The music makes me feel like it's really pretty. <laughs> Someone left a letter on the chair. Tristan. Ander. To Brilla. Guess they have some business talk. I'm taking it. Haha. <laughs> on my first playthrough, I did not notice that letter. <laughs> and then by accident, I... I saw a review of this game and saw somebody grabbed it, so... Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> ah, the music is really pretty. Letter to Brilla. Unreliably sealed. Smells like grass and flowers. Actually, it doesn't smell at all. Just made this up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to add a little spice to life. Uh, personal letter from Vander to my aunt. I don't understand why it's lying outside in full public view. Use the item to read the letter boldly or stay sensible. Nah, let's... let's not. <laughs> I don't like to read private correspondence, but it feels like something's forcing me to do so. Yeah, that would be me. I'm forcing you to do this. My precious Brilla, I managed to grow some rare for you, which can't help but please you and your customers. <laughs> it's sweet, juicy, crimson colored, and so big that it doesn't fit in the hands. I decided to name it Brilla's Heart. This is my confession to you. With sincere love, Vander. Are you still going at it? No, he... Wow. Wow, this guy is hitting on Brilla. Vander needs better tasting women. <laughs> I'm sorry. Brilla is not a person to be going for. You can reach the second floor by two ladders. This is one of them. The second one is in the living room, but the hatch lace is constantly torn off, so Mother uses the emergency exit from time to time. The tireless woman. It just seems dangerous. <laughs> Old and leaky bucket. It's not useful anymore. That's exactly what some somebody would say if we had to use that at some time later. Ha, <sighs> these games, bro. Uh, give me a bit, my eyes. I apologize for the routine pauses. I got some eye issues, so yeah, I gotta. Yeah, that's all it is. I, I won't bore y'all with my medical business. Yeah. This person's been wanted for 13 years, or even more. I saw this portrait before I, even before I left. Can't read. Previously, a note was attached to it. Please come back and finish the eighth grade. I love his face. I love the art. I love this dude's expressions. He is the best. Someone stole my wet wipes. Find them before they get dry. M.N. The Mad Rook ate all the jam in my Vardo. Uh, Charo the Sentry. Or Caro the Sentry. Deal with it. It's impossible to tolerate this. Green Vardo with a flower. Someone in the camp is paying with... I was cheated out of two Danes. <clears throat> but who will now refund them? Charo... Sentry punish the counterfeiter. Charles got his uh, his work cut out for him. <laughs> My dogs are up now. <sighs> oh my! Oh my! No way! Antiquity is coming here to Latori. I, I must buy a ticket. I hope they aren't sold out already. Fanboy. <laughs> Broken horn. Ouch. I guess it hurts. I didn't realize that until recently. Yeah, Broken Horn is the name of the people designing this game. So that's a little tongue-in-cheek Easter egg for the creators. <laughs> I'm a selling potato. Three years old. Cream color. Guys. I got it. Just talking about Sujidaro. I forgot to write a name with a capital letter. Capital letters, people. Punctuation and whatnot. Spelling is very important. <laughs> mm, 
Looks like it was drawn by Serban. Not bad, kid. <laughs> oh shoot, saw that one. <laughs> Reading coffee grounds, braiding Ayalahayan braids, selling porcelain. I look after your pets, cheap, fast, with a guarantee. I love beautiful men, blonde hair. <laughs> Good luck with your business, lady. Brilla's Paprika, 10% discount. Can't believe it. Needs this stuff. <laughs> Was there a child creativity contest in the camp or what? Okay, this is cute. I like it. Especially those boots. They look like teeth. <laughs> and that is everything here. Eelworms. Delightful creatures. They gorge quickly, but almost immediately get hungry. Electricity interruptions are the result. Bad idea. If I open the tab, eelworms will fall out and die. Yeah. Just wanted to see it. <laughs> the big one's name is Emperor, my only dog pal. He's friendly to me, probably because he can't see through his bangs. <laughs> he looked like a lazy boy. An old fireplace. They fry meat and baked potatoes here sometimes. Let's go this way. <laughs> I see this rocket here. Or rocket. I see this rocket here uh, all the time. I'd like to pet him, but he's asleep and I don't want to bother him. He likes me. Sure he does. This girl works on the day shift. And that is all we know. She's around Serban's age or younger. I don't know. I'm not an expert on kids. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Local coffee isn't bad, although sometimes it tastes like something burnt. <clears throat> Deceptively delicious buns. No, oh, I'm serious. They have a suspiciously appetizing smell today, but I'm not falling for that. <laughs> Goblin Cafe. Besides the menu, there is also a small story on the board that explains the name. Yeah, why not? <laughs> this wagon once was owned by Yorosh the Slayer, the Goblin Hunter. Yorosh was working even more. The legend says that he approached a swamp witch from another world to make him immortal. During his first few centuries, Yorosh tirelessly pursued dangerous flat stream creatures, but then he began to rot and gradually fell apart. He almost never left his wagon. Out of boredom, he learned to bake buns and make coffee. When the peaceful life became insufferable, insufferable, Yarosh looked for the Swamp Witch again, but never found her. Or he found the witch. Anyway, he never got back to the wagon. It's quite possible that even now he remain, his remains are decaying somewhere in the deep of the woods. But has the Shang left them, or is it still hovering somewhere nearby? Interesting story there. Being made immortal, and then you want you go to the witch who made you immortal, and you want to fix it, but you never find her, so now you just live forever. Whew, horrible. Immortality ain't all it cracked up to be. It's good that this cafe has nothing to do with goblins except the name and this cute carved figure. I always expect that one of those pots will fall right onto my head. This happened here before. Poor guy just ain't got no luck. Oh. We've got everything here. Nothing to take. Huh, what we got here? <laughs> Fender. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Vander, strange guy who loves the plant, uh, who loves plants and treats them like his uh, children. Vander works for Brilla and helps her and grow the best possible peppers out of of all varieties imaginable. Yet I don't understand how he has managed to tolerate the horrible temper Brilla possesses. Maybe she cast an ancient parma spell on him, who knows? Mm, so is not so far from the truth. Poor Fox seems to be desperately in love with Brilla. Decided to name the paprika breed after her. Creepy and touching at the same time. Yeah, this dude's got it for a bad 
I don't know what he sees. Uh, he's able to make a variety of medicines using the harvest from the greenhouse for that. It's pretty convenient when kind of a doctor lives in your camp. You get a cold and the cough syrup is already on its way to your house. Nice. He looks like a nice guy. He really does. Oh, so much. This world is just so beautiful. If you want to read it, there's everything. Feel free to pause and do the thing. Read it. <laughs> Sorai. I will read this, though. Immortal creatures who live within the borders of the flat are a favorite topic of serious scientific for serious scientific articles, science fiction books, and sensations in magazines like Magic and You. I used to collect information about them, even tried to get to the flat to find them, but I didn't, and sometimes I could feel Sorai are watching. In some, in some countries, closed cults connected with the immortals still remain. Thanks to them, the rest of the world now know that the Sorai live in clans. For example, Sorai are not gods and not spirits, but they're very powerful and live by rules inaccessible to the understanding of mortals. It seems that the facts end there. The rest are speculations and theories, the ones I was actually interested in. <laughs> they're not gods or spirits. So that just leaves demons. <laughs> God, the spirits, that just leaves demons. Or are demon spirits? I don't know. They could just be other. Just really creepy stuff. The flat, the territory of the immortal Sorai. <laughs> Upon first sight, it isn't terribly uh, different from Stream, the world of mortals in addition. There appears to be no visible boundary between them, but this is the place where time is transformed into a mere convention and familiar objects are distorted beyond all recognition. Scientists and tourists embarking on a journey into the timeless lands do so at their own risk, hoping to, chan hoping to chance upon Sorai artifacts or even the Sorai themselves. <clears throat> but one should not step too deeply into flat stream. Those that do risk coming risk becoming trapped within time itself and returning aged beyond their years. Some even die in the process of doing so. For the sake of personal protection, tourists are advised to bring bell rings from inspecting the border regions. If these glasses begin to crack without reason, then you have strayed into dangerous territory and it's time to head back with all due haste. Swa Swallowkin. This is what Serpent was talking about. I'll leave that there for people who want to read it. I feel like I've done enough reading. I apologize for all the I just find this stuff so fascinating, and I love reading about it. I know nothing of this world and want to know more. But yeah, next video, maybe if people don't want me to read so much anymore, I will stop. Because until then, I'ma just keep going. I used to be an attic. Now it's my mom's room. I think that's how it's... Since I played this before, I think that's how he refers to his mother. That's a way of saying mother. If she's lucky, there are no bed bugs in the walls, and they don't march on the bed at night. Give me one second. Ah, my eyes again. Alrighty. Uh, we got everything. We looked at everything. That's locked. Everything there is to see. <laughs> Hello, doggo. My dog Nubia is bugging me. Resting on a beach. Getting a leech. <laughs> uh, give me one second. I'm gonna go let them out. See if everything's okay. So just sit here and enjoy the music.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that. My dogs had to go outside, so I had to let them out. I'm hoping you enjoyed the music, or you probably just skipped for it, because since I'm uploading this to YouTube, you can just, like, skip ahead. That's cool, too. I don't mind either, or... <laughs> Hang on. Put these, these... Oh, journal. Gotcha. Alright. <laughs> I was just going to see Brilla. My condolences to you because Brilla's out of sorts today. But when isn't she anyway? Also, hi. She's in a bad mood? Oh, please, not this. It's good I met you then. Listen, I... I need your help right now. Help? With what? Wait, let me guess. Something's happened with your... Uh, babes? I'm not very good at botany, so you come to the wrong man. Guess you'll have to speak with Brilla anyway. Hold on, but no, 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 wait. It's about her harvest, Falvale. <laughs> if I talk about that with her, if she finds out, she... She'll... <laughs> she'll kill you. Yes, this is totally her style. Oh, well... I wanted to say she's going to be extremely upset. Bertha is a soft-hearted woman, and she won't harm her close ones. <laughs> I don't believe that either. Let's just toss that one to the wind. I feel so uncomfortable knowing that you're so terribly wrong about my aunt. Speaking of the subject, are you guilty of something that Brilla shouldn't know about? What did you do? Nothing. I did nothing. I just woke up early today, and then I saw... this. But I can't mention any details. Someone will definitely hear us. The rumors are spread everywhere. Are you in contact with criminals? I might have known. No! You got me wrong. Listen, just come to my greenhouse. You remember where it is, don't you? Yes, yes, near the lake cliff. Tell me, do I need to take something with me? Maybe sentries, chain dogs, any weapons, torches, pitchforks? No, no, no. You'd better come alone. Maybe we aren't put in uh, I hope we aren't put in jail after this. Shh. I'll be waiting. Strange fellow. I love his design, but strange fellow. Ah, uh, the beach. The sun is warm, the water beckons, all the girls are wearing closed swimsuits. Nothing to look at. You perv. Uh, seems like these girls are having a serious conversation. Humans scare me. There's some sort of nerd convention in the cemetery, and I have no idea how to get away from them. Come on, don't worry, they'll just discuss the magic bang theory and then leave. Says Femi, the only named one. <laughs> Uh, Zadrari here. I don't have time for a chat. Sorry. Or is it an emergency? No, Alec. No emergency. Just saying hi. <laughs> this is that abandoned manor Vanner was talking about. But let's go elsewhere for a while. <laughs> Nobody in the camp loves the family that lives here. Not only are they outcasts, but they also allegedly smuggle from Valeria. I'll bet on anything, the hill campers made up this smuggling part by themselves. Prejudice in all forms. <laughs> Everything is right. The deck the deck chair should be in the shade. It should be predisposed to laziness. I'll buy myself one when I finish my commission for the Black Baron. I say get a rocking chair. Those are way more fun. Barbara was obsessed with rugs. They have beach rugs, day rest rugs, picnic rugs, fair rugs, dish rugs, rugs, rugs. And they're all spread out because there isn't enough space for them in Vardos. Arrows are everywhere. The family that lives here is obviously preparing for war. Hey, you got the right to protect yourself. Just don't go crazy with it. As a kid, my mom constantly was telling me that I shouldn't hang around the hydrangea because grass... Because grass where snakes lived in the bushes. So I started spending days there because I wanted to catch a captive for myself. But I haven't ever seen even ordinary snakes. Yep, she did the mom thing. <laughs> that a 
everything everything around here chair rug arrows flowers we're gonna save here no specific reason just because wait in the right all right just making sure Drabeski's house. Wait, I, never, I didn't know that name. Drabeski's house. Alrighty. <laughs> Beach. I don't like the water. That's why I rarely swim. Scratch that. That's why I never swim. <laughs> it says... Understand any of it. It's just a jumble of words. I love the expressions. The sign is empty, but the sign itself directly hints that you'd better not go to the house on the cliff. That didn't prevent Vander from equipping his greenhouse, though. <laughs> Villain is very useful shrub. It has a hollow stem and a cone on top, which you can roast over fire and eat. It tastes like cheese popcorn. That sounds gross, but I am I'm into it. I want to try that. Cheese popcorn. Uh, hang on. <laughs> ah, eyes. <laughs> These scribbles are called Veve, or Vive. I'm going with Veve because that sounds cooler uh, in my mind. Uh, they're made up by the who sell them as protection against evil, and local peasants draw them right on the walls of their Vardos. The Vardos. <laughs> A great way to make money. I'll make a note. I would too. You get paid to paint some stuff on people's doors? Hell yeah. If you're wondering why I'm not going towards the, the wherever I'm supposed to go, it's because it's always good to go where you're not supposed to in stories like these. In all kinds of games, really. <laughs> Creepatoon, the name of death, and also a name for dead cemetery cats. Hello, Creepatoon. How are you? Sunbathing still? You look wonderful. Just leaving dead cats there. Good old sleeping lookout. I see he's obtained more clocks during the past few years. Is that ticking? I think it's ticking. <laughs> of course, he's considered a guardian of the border between the flat stream and the stream, but actually, he isn't. This is a fence. I'm so proud of himself. He's cute. <laughs> Cemetery is this way. Locals are able to visit it only during the second part of the day, when the shadows become longer. That is when we come closer to our deceased relatives. Or something like that, I don't remember. Due to preparations for the upcoming event, the cemetery is closed until tomorrow evening. <coughs> cemetery is this way. Locals are able to visit it only during the second part of the day, when the shadows become long- Oh, I already read that. I don't know why I Forgive me and my silliness. <laughs> a fallen tree, fully covered in mushrooms. They say the people who were traveling into the flat street were able to hear si mushrooms sing, but I hardly believe it. <clears throat> Sleeping sentinels are always covered in a ton of watches. In my opinion, just one watch would be enough, but as Alec would say, this is Latorian style, baby! Uh. <clears throat> Everything. Nothing to grab on. Nothing to take. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we go. I was having a serious conversation. Let me use again. I hope you're not offended that I didn't come over for dinner, are you? I like your Vardo. It's so lovely, but your husband scares me. What is Vardo? What the heck is Vardo? <laughs> Are you afraid of Drabeski? <laughs> I'll tell him. No, please don't. Oh, Drabe oh so. Drabeski. Femi. I oh, got you. <laughs> One more time. Is that Scarf guy watching us? Do you think he likes me? I hope he's not. He looks like a serial killer from your favorite radio show. <laughs> These two girls are having a serious conversation. And I just stopped crying. The girls have noticed me. <laughs> this game. Oh, this is new. I didn't have this on the other, uh, my other playthrough. This is the abandoned house Vander was talking about. It's huge. I don't know how long it was abandoned, but it's surprisingly clean here. 
Not a single bit. Not a single bit of graffiti on is on the manor's walls, but there's no trace of broken bottles anywhere. It looks like this is the place I need to go. I won't make Vander wait. The poor fellow's a nervous wreck already. Yeah, this music. <laughs> the windows are huge, but there's almost no glass to them. Vander isn't really worried about his own safety. There is nobody that really comes in here besides the birds. Same thing, Kachi. Seems like Vander isn't having a good time. I've never seen the greenhouse look that bad. Great. Clam. Or the hell is this thing? Yeah, that don't look fake to me. It's weird. <laughs> Anything else? Just making sure. I see that key. I see that key there. <laughs> you have, you can't trick me, game. Before we talk to <laughs> my eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this story. Oh, hang on. Save. That was my fault. That was a mistake. And now we actually keep going. <laughs> so, what happened? You see that? It's there, near the wall. A new addition to your collection? Yeah, sort of. Huh. Good. Mm. Vander, tell me honestly what you want from me. Your opinion. Yes. What do you think about this plant? Well, it's big and round. Looks like a sheep died somewhere in the bushes. Fuzzy. A sheep, you say? It seems like I was right. Darn it. What? Are you afraid that Bella won't like the assortment expansion? Not expansion, Rui. It's reduction. This damn veg lamb devoured everything that was growing at the greenhouse while yesterday all the plants were just fine. <laughs> devoured? Is that literally devoured? Maybe we should leave. What if it's still hungry? It's not interested in meat. Only greens are important. It's a cannibal. Val Vale. What is... <laughs> it's so huge now. Sucked all the juices from my babies. And this jerk is happy about it. I'm sure it is. I still don't understand what kind of help you need from me. I, uh... Was pranked by the Mad Rook. Yes, Rui, I'm serious. The week of the Rook has begun, and this year he chose me, along with the others. Let's sum everything up. This veg lamb grew here because the Mad Rook left its seed on purpose, just to make fun of you? Of course! It's totally his style. So, the Rook, you say? Let's assume it's true. He used this broken window as a front door, flew in freely, messed up the boards, and planted the seed. I guess it was like that. Vander, this is nonsense. The Mad Rook is a fairy tale character, and even if he exists, then who is he? What do you think, a Sorai? It's deadly for Sorai to leave the flat, and why would the why would the Rook take such a risk? Just a mortal gardener. I don't know, but Vegelam can't appear out of nowhere, right? It's just a plant, Vander. Vander. Birds can carry the seeds. They don't have to wait. They don't have to be the mad rook for that. I think I didn't tell the most important thing. Vegelam is a flat thing, just like the mad rook. What? Is it true? I thought that I'll tell everything to Brilla first, and then come what may. But thanks to the holy names, I ran into you. I heard that you were writing articles about Sorai in the flat, and... Therefore, you would be interested in the veg lamb. Yes, I was writing articles, but I know nothing about veg lambs. I know. In the stream, such plants as veg lamb would uh, usually die pretty quickly. But this jerk ate my greens and survived, as you see. But death is waiting for it anyway. There's not much food left. <laughs> I can't let it destroy everything that's left. We have to do something. And here's where we get the options. Last playthrough, I did cut down the veg lamb. 
So this playthrough, we're going to dig it out. So this is going to be completely new territory for me. Any changes that happen, I will have no idea. So here we go. We should dig it out and dispose of it as far as possible. Somewhere deep in the forest only. I don't know, really. What if it survives? You've just told me there's no chance... Uh, you just told me he has no chance to survive if it doesn't have food for the stream. <laughs> okay, then. If you don't like this option, let's just burn it. No! Someone will notice the smoke and Brilla will have questions. Let's get back to the first option. Well, I've helped you. Can I go now? <laughs> you did, but you see... I can't bring myself to do this. Why not? Don't you have any tools with you? I have one. It's just... I can't. I can't hurt it. It's a killer, but it's alive. Val that mean? Really? You've caught me just to dig out this damn weed? You know me? Sorry, I'm not making you do this, but I can't do it on my own. I think it'll drive me insane, and I... Uh, Vander, fine, I'll do this. Give me your shovel. One more thing. Please use another shovel, not mine. There will be blood on it, otherwise... I mean, the juice. Oh, I can't believe this. See, it, I don't trust this. I don't trust him. At all. That is just... You'll have to wait then, because I don't have garden tools in my pockets. I do not trust you. I don't know you. I'm sure Rui knows you, but I do not. I do not trust you, sir. He, the same thing happened on the cut the veg lamb down thing. It was weird. He's like, don't, don't use this item. I'm not going to spoil it. Don't use this because the blood on it and I can't stand it. Can you get another item? I don't trust you. Do not. Ah, <laughs> oh, my eyes. Give me a sec. Oops. <laughs> uh, Vander is a skeptical beast. <laughs> this looks hella creepy. What is it? I doubt it grew together with the veg lamb. I need to show this to Vander. Anything else? <laughs> it's a weird ass plant, but damn if I'm not intrigued. <laughs> I already have it in the uh, world of immortals. The veg lamb. The cannibal plant that came from the flat looks like a fluffy lamb. <laughs> Sorry. You can grow from a seed to a small bush in one night, gobble up your cucumbers as well as gardenias, and plant black twisted roots with long spikes through the whole house. Like, does it move, or... <laughs> That's the thing I don't understand. Like, it's clearly rooted. You can see its legs are rooted down. Or it's like, oh, it's like a weed. Like, it seeps through, I guess. <laughs> Looks like this veg lamb had a good meal. It's sad to see the place like this. All that hard work done in vain. Vander's a strange guy in some ways, but he doesn't deserve this. <laughs> Huge, but there's almost no class to them. Vander isn't really concerned about his safety. There's nobody that really comes here. Besides the birds. And the mad rook, of course. I like that <laughs> now after we got the whole situation, the dialogue changes for these things. That's neat. <laughs> Mr. Untrustworthy. Where do you think I can get a shovel? I don't know. Maybe you can steal it from someone? You're so useful. I'm just kidding. Nah, you were serious. Don't lie. <laughs> I've always thought you lived here. Us. Where is your true home? This is my real home. All jesting aside, if you lived here for a while, you'd realize it's not nearly as bad as it seems. The insects keep you company. Well, they do for me, at least. <laughs> but there's an abandoned manor nearby. Why don't you live there? It feels strange in there. I don't like it. But when I'm in my garden, I feel completely safe. A tree is like a baby. You water and care for it when it's small, and when it grows up, it protects you. But I couldn't protect them. <laughs> what are you doing in the camp? Though I see you every morning, I know almost nothing about you. Oh, so he does know nothing about him. I'm here for Brilla. I want to keep her with... I want to help her with everything, even if she doesn't under... Even if she doesn't ask. And work overtime. Yes, yes, I got it. Brilla and you are made for farming. 
You both should have been born Tsujidaro so people could follow your help. Garden beds aren't the only thing I work with. Sometimes I have to do some doctor stuff. So you're also healing the locals? I'm just well acquainted with the properties of plants, and it's not difficult for me to make medicine for colds or insomnia. Uh, but I don't make any potions for impotence, if you suddenly thought about it. That is the last thing I was thinking about, Vander. Yeah, no one brought that up. He's a strange guy. I want to like him, but I do not trust you. I trust nothing of you, dear sir. <laughs> love your design, though. Love the scarf. <laughs> why don't you like the? Why don't? Yeah. Why don't you like the abandoned house so much? Is it too decayed? Is it stuffed with rats? Or are you just a victim of prejudice? Yes. Uh, what? Yes. Everything you said. And also, it's just sinister. Okay, I got you. Stranger and stranger. <laughs> what do you know about the Mad Rook? Not much. He spends all year hiding in the Flatstream forests before venturing into our world just for a week. He loves to mock mortals, playing with them in his own demented way, like stealing objects of value and exchanging them for others. <laughs> with others. You see, I am a gardener, and he gave me some veg lamb seeds. Didn't know that they would destroy all my plants? I swear he did. I'm sure he found it all to be quite amusing. I hate birds. <laughs> ah, my eyes. Hang on. I'm sorry. I apologize for my eyes always acting up and pausing the gameplay here. <laughs> Why do you like Brilla so much? Uh, um, how, how did you... You think it's strange? Well, maybe it is. She's one of a kind. That's what I love about her. You'll never understand. <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> How insane of a person do you have to be to fall in love with my aunt? Or... Wait, is her yelling turning you on? When she yells at me, it just means she cares about me. At least, I hope so. Anyway, I won't stand for anyone being mean to her for no reason. Calm down, I'm glad she has you now. Maybe we'll switch her attention to you, and she'll finally stop being such a grouch to me for a change. <laughs> You're quite funny, though far from nice. Try, drink, try being both for a change, and we'll be better friends. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> still don't trust you, though. I apologize, but I still do not trust you, sir. I wonder how he'll react. <laughs> I found something. Here, take a look. Oh! What is it? Come on, Vander, your name is on it. And not only yours. <laughs> I decided I shouldn't leave the letters on the street. It doesn't matter if they're personal or not. On the street, you said. I see. Thank you for bringing it back. Tell me, did you... Did, did you read it? Should I be honest or should I lie? I wonder how he'll react. Be nice for a change. Mm. <laughs> it fell down and opened up, and I gave it a quick and accidental look when I was picking it up from the ground. Okay, I confess I read it. I'm not blaming you. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm a bad person. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Vander. Still don't trust you, but I'm sorry. Look, what I found under the veg lamb's leaf. Rui, really, what is it? Don't you know? Of course not. It wasn't here this morning. Let's say you're right. How did it get here? What do you think? I think Mad Rook did it. Of course you do. What's inside? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, this puzzle. I forgot how I did it last time. Let's see if I can get this working. How did I do this again? I think. No. 
Oh, there we go. So one. Is this it? Or am I messing up? Oh no. Yeah, that's not right. Let's get all the pieces out here first. Okay, that goes there. Does it? Yes, it does. I'm not crazy. Give me a sec. I can. I can. I've done this before. I can do it again. Don't doubt me. That goes there, and they'll go. Those go there. Got you. Got you. There, which means this goes there, right? Hang on, maybe I'm messing up. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> the letter is written in regular vild or vild. I'm gonna go with vild, <laughs> and it means enjoy your meal. Really? <laughs> it seems to me that you've fallen deep into thought. What does it say? If they do, what do they use to do so? Are they smart enough to compose meaningful messages? Is this a message from Rook? From the mad Rook himself? What did he write? I'm sure he's sneering. I haven't even said a word about him. Just thinking out loud. So what did he... What is written there? He said to enjoy our meal. You see, it's definitely mad Rook, and he's sneering. Do you really think that you can eat this, la this veg lamb? Wait. If I were you, I wouldn't trust no hidden in mechanical, cannibal plants. I don't. Liar. <laughs> well, I've gotten all the conversations I can out of him. <laughs> so now it's time... ...to find a shovel. <laughs> I save. Heading out. <laughs> locked. The door is locked. Thank you, Rui. That's so very observant of you. <laughs> oh, the girls are gone. Probably a good thing. <laughs> I was creeping them out. Swimsuits, nothing to look at. <laughs> just looking around, just looking around. I saw the shovel earlier, so I know where that will be. Stupid shovel. I hope it won't break my hands. Brilla could have bought a new one. She isn't poor, you know. Aw. Meow, I got an achievement. Like I said, I never played this rap before, so, you know, there I go. Well, I'm gonna end it there for now. This is about an hour in length. I'll continue this another time. Um. Yeah. Hang on. Got some of my inventory. Oh, there's the shovel. Sorry, I didn't see it. I got like a light on my screen. <laughs> Features: doesn't purr and doesn't poop in slippers. What the hell? Awful as a weapon. Why? Why make those comments? <laughs> this shovel once belonged to my great grandfather, and it's called Katze or kitten. Oh, okay, now I get it. It's quite remarkable. The shovel exists longer than any of grandfather's three wives, and also has his main. And also was his main treasure. Grandfather was obsessed with the idea of finding gold and traveled all over Latori digging up pits. It's the only thing he got, and he never became rich either. In our family, everything is bad with dream fulfillment. Damn. <laughs> Journal. <laughs> mm, I was Taking the shovel from Brilla and suddenly had a funny thought. My sweet auntie will never even think that it was me who took the shovel. According to her, I don't even know what shovels are made for. Though if you think deeply, I really hadn't even worked with this thing, but I know which end is for holding. <laughs> I think it's better to take the Vegelam out and take it somewhere in the forest. Evander doesn't want Indian Jones and something else. Uh huh. I trust in that. That admittedly very nice 
guy. <laughs> I trust nothing. <laughs> and before we leave, I'm gonna check over here. Mommy dearest. <laughs> Let's talk to her. I wanted to. I need to try a local pastry. You need to try a local pastry. There's no reason for you to say and say that it's bad because it's perfect. Let's not be mean here. We have something to discuss. Yes, sweetie, I'm listening. Has something happened? Are you upset? Gambling. Find a job. I feel like these two are mean, so I'm gonna. I don't want to be mean to Ma. How could you even uh, keep such an innocent face? You aren't just taking money from Brilla. You're using me for that. If I tell her I'm taking for myself, she'll kill me. And now she wants to kill me. Don't you see how she treats me? A little more, and she'll use me as manure. Why are you so worried? Your wallet's going to be full soon, and any debt to Brilla will be such a tiny thing. You didn't just waste my prepaid expense, but you want to get the rest too. <laughs> I don't want to get anything, sweetie. We're family, and we're supposed to help each other. I guess Brilla heard this a lot before she denied another credit to you. I'm only regretting one thing. That I raised you up to be so callous. You're just like your father. I'm going to leave you and your gambling diction alone, but only on one condition. You will no longer touch other people's money. <laughs> I don't like living with Brilla, but I don't want my father's story to repeat. If Brilla kicks us out, we have nowhere to go this time. Do you understand? Or, as you say, Val Vale. Ah, that's what that means. <laughs> vale. Mommy won't make you worry anymore. Do you believe me? Of course. I still insist that you should try this marvelous pastry. Here, take these cookies. Do you remember the night of the two cheats? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I do. What is it? The night when you played with Dad for our family Vardo. I'm guessing Vardo was home, or some, something special to them. <laughs> now I got everything, sweetie. You're disappointed that I won, right? Were you upset with me? Actually, I was upset by both of you because you decided to split your property right before I had to leave to Norian University. <laughs> but that's not the point. I thought Father was guilty that he left us, but apparently he was right. I hope you're done because I don't want to listen to you anymore. I am done. <laughs> Got some bad family history here. <laughs> nice toy, huh? I want it for Serban. By playing cards? Yes. But it's a cute donkey, isn't it? This is a Glashton. And according to myths, Glashton eat the liver of mortals. How awful! How are you going to play for a prize and you don't know what prize you're getting? <laughs> this is our grandpa's shovel. He loved it very much, even more than his wife, I guess. He was very careful, polishing the shaft, wrapping it into some velvet rag. And I walked into the room once and saw him dancing the waltz with it. Everyone has their own oddities, right? <laughs> She's a very sweet lady, just kind of bothered by things, I suppose. She has an addiction. Yeah, ev everybody's got their got their faults. <laughs> it's good that she admits her wrongs, though. She doesn't like to talk about it, but she knows she's done wrong. <laughs> How are you doing here? Easy as pie. The most important thing is to think positive and keep your tail up, right? But it was really boring without you. No one draws on the Vardo walls, no one reads aloud about the expert's defense mechanisms, and about Sochidaro's pr premolars... Premolars. Nobody collects slugs in the garden to send them to school. I don't remember that. You made a school of slugs from a pan of steamed rice. I still remember how I was opening the lid to fill the pan with rice, and there was a load of slugs trying to escape. There's no way I did that. I hate slugs. You were touching them with your bare hands. No. No. <laughs> no way. Give me a bit, my eyes. And back at it. <laughs> about Brilla. How did Brilla react to you moving in? She wasn't happy about it. That's alright. She mun die from it. She's got a huge Vardo anyway. Yeah, Vardo's home. I still remember the fighting after the purchase. She yelled at Milosh like, Why do we need such a palace? Hire some servants and 
then so we can finish the cleaning before the end of the week. And he said that our families are big. What if someone comes to visit? So you took advantage of it and used it as an invitation. Trust me, Bree doesn't mind. She's just moody. Yeah, she moody, all right. <laughs> are you talking to Serban? Yes, as much as I can. He loves to be by himself. Even spend uh, much time with his own brother. He became like that after Milosh disappeared. If I were him, I wouldn't have much fun either. But, you know, I don't want him to grow up a gloomy guy, but I wanted to soften him somehow. <laughs> I once, uh, I was giving him toys and helping with homework. I even took him to the Marquis with me once. But Brilla didn't like it. She thought that I was spoiling him. <laughs> and he didn't want to open up anyway, so I left him alone. Oh, that boy. <laughs> His mom's screwing him over. She's carrying on that, that attitude. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. I move on. I'm gonna give Serpent a cookie. Oh, she's gone. Yes, yes. You know what? I hate you! Even if Paprika were the least edible thing on Earth, I'd willingly die from starvation instead. <laughs> Brilla's account book, with a symbol protecting against evil. Well, Aunt Brilla, I'll have you know that this symbol is what turned me away. <laughs> a secret place, which is always locked. Intriguing. Uh, wish I could open it. Maybe I can, and I just haven't figured out how. I didn't do it in the last playthrough, because again, I didn't know how. But maybe, just maybe. I don't like to count other people's money. Look at you taking the high ground. A photo of young Brilla. Seems like she used to be a charming, nice girl. Even a kind one, judging by the smile. What turned her into a swamp hag? Brilla's heartless bird. Her best friend, I suppose. Actually, it's a jewelry box. <laughs> Brilla's bag is her treasury. If I were stupid, I'd check to see what's inside, but a strong feeling of self-preservation keeps me away from it. Damn, my sugar was here. Honey, why does Brilla constantly use my things as her own? I buy them, not her. Oh, but it's her house, blah, 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 blah. Pepper and ginger are my favorite coffee supplements. A coffee pot. I want to make another cup of coffee so badly so I can arrange my thoughts, but I'll be the tenth one today. <laughs> tenth? Jesus Christ, boy. I don't really have a taste for coffee myself. The smell of it makes me sick. <laughs> but those who like it, I hope you, you enjoy it. <laughs> Despite the fact that Brilla is a witch, she never came up with a spell that would force me to do her dishes. Damn right. <laughs> Sugar, I don't need it. Oh, the mouse is still there. That's cute. That everything here. <laughs> what a charming world. Those plants. And what is this? Impossible, it's Aloe. Or Alo. What an unexpected meeting. Why is there always Alo? Why is there always Alo in every Vardo, in every family? I will find out the answer someday. <laughs> I would love to know as well, even though I never noticed. <laughs> Funny, this is a diploma. Do you think it was given for studies or some special talent? You're wrong, then. Brilla was awarded this for growing the reddest, healthiest, most delicious paprika ever seen. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but yes, local people are crazy about contests. I once saw them reward chain dogs for having the most rigid whiskers. What a strange world. I said, what's your Rui's room? <laughs> Wait, where's Serban's room, then? What up, little man? Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> do you know the name of this shuffle? Sure I do. The story is stuck in my teeth. <laughs> and how did you hear that Katsy could... And did you hear that Katsy could purr? Not like a real cat, but in its own way. It was shivering quietly when it sent it gold. But my grandpa didn't find a Dane for his whole life. Seems as there is no flair. 
Well, it means it's scented not the gold, but something else. I don't know what exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Is that for me? Of course. Yep. <laughs> I love those cookies. You're welcome. I just wanted to do that. I did that in the last playthrough, and he, he was so happy, so I had to do it again this one. <laughs> I wonder if I can... I'm going to erase it later. Dang it, I thought I could like take it with me or something. <laughs> Gotta work on that thing, though, brother. Alrighty. <laughs> we got the shovel. We got some cookies. We've looked at everything. We spoke to Mommy Dearest. Brilla is gone, thank heavens. We gave a cookie to the best cousin in the world. And we're gonna end it here. Um, I'll give my full complete thoughts when I finish the game. I might be able to finish it next playthrough. It's admittedly short, but I've managed to get an hour's worth of content after this, mostly because of all my reading. But yeah, let me save. That's that. Such beautiful music. <laughs> Such beautiful music. Yes. So, um, everybody out there, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, the standard YouTube stuff, like, comment, and subscribe and all that business, and I'll do more, and I'll find other games that I have on my computer that I would love to play that I think would be cool to uh, make videos on. This is the first video I've done that has me recording myself, and it was weird. You can tell by all the, the sniffling and the me just rambling on about stuff and reading things. I like reading, and I apologize if, if that's boring you. Um, but yeah, um, if you don't want me to read so much, please comment so, and I'll just play the game and just the game. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed this, and please come back for next time. Bye!